video to learn on how to use and create Bernier drift gauge. So this is the illustration of the part and also this is the actual measuring. So uh, this is actual uh, measuring. So this is our uh, Vernier diff gauge and this is a uh, metric system in uh, graduation space so that is uh, 0 0.05 millimeter so we proceed to letter E so this is the reading so coincided line in between 9 to 0 so that is 0 0.05 so the reading is 5.95 right so we proceed to letter V then it started from 0 that is 10 then first we find the coincided line so no coincided line so that is only 10 millimeter okay then we proceed to letter C so this is the letter C reading started from 0 so that is 13 then we check the coincided line so coincided line that is in uh, 1 so that is only 13.1 uh, right so uh, we proceed to letter D So this is the letter D reading. Started from zero, so that is seven ten. Then coincided line that is in one, so the reading is seven ten point one millimeter. So we proceed in letter E. So coincided line that is in 7 then started from 0 so that is 16 so that is 16.7 millimeter okay then uh, we proceed to F so this is the letter F started from 0 so that is uh, 34 then coincided line that is 6 so that is 34.6 uh, millimeter, right? So uh, we proceed to letter G. So this is the letter G. Started from zero, so that is 15. Coincided line that is one, so that is 15.1 millimeter. Right, so again, uh, we proceed to H. So this is the H reading. Started from zero, so that is 11. Then coincided line. So that is one, so that is 11.1 millimeter. Then next uh, we proceed to I. So this is the I reading. No coincided line, so that is only 15. So that is 15 millimeter. Right, so. The last one, so we check the J. So coincided line, so that is eight. The thirteen for eight. So guys, uh, I hope uh, you learned a lot, and please don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.